Well, it's a somber memory that we will never forget the attack on America. And each year, the Bossier community holds their annual 9-11 remembrance ceremony. Joining me this morning is Lynn Bryan, executive director for Keep Bossier Beautiful. Thank you so much for joining me, You're Lynn. Welcome. You know, it's a moment where we all remember where we were, what we were doing when that attack happened on America. Yes, and something we'll never forget and something we don't ever want to forget. And uh, more than 20 years ago, Keep Bossier Beautiful and the city of Bossier City created a garden called Liberty Garden mm -hmm. uh, on the Bossier Municipal Complex. And it is a beautiful water uh, waterfall and a piece of metal from the second twin, twin tower wow. that is there. And we come together with our local leaders and first responders and uh, individuals who are were impacted and are impacted by that tragedy and we remember uh, we don't ever want to forget we remember we have a um, uh, the fire department puts this big 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 flag up mm -hmm. and and uh, we've got students that come and put out flags in fact the ground was so hard this year we had to <laughs> use drills to drill holes to put yes. the flags in but some of the youth youth challenge students came and helped us with that we have uh, our keynote speaker is uh, Lieutenant Colonel Oliver Jenkins, mm -hmm. who will be sharing about his uh, his journey as a fighter pilot wow. uh, during that time. And the introduction to uh, Oliver, introduction for Oliver is uh, Captain Dylan Lisi, who was actually in school uh, in New York whenever the uh, Twin Towers were hit and saw the explosion. Wow. His family was directly impacted. So it'll be a great uh, day to remember mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully we will never forget what happened on that day. Yeah, you still get chills when you hear people tell the story mm -hmm. and especially when you're talking about a piece of the Twin Tower right here. Right in Bossier City. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about a young student from Bossier Elementary participating. Yes, we are so excited to partner with Bossier City, Bossier Parish Schools, mm -hmm. who have been a part of this. It's really a community event. The whole community contributes to this. Mm -hmm. uh, but the Bossier Parish Schools will be sending over from Bossier Elementary a young man, Carlotto Carlton, I think is his name. He's a third grader. Okay. And he is the uh, essay winner for What is a Hero? The essay, the students had a, a, uh, a competition on uh, writing an essay for What is a Hero? And he will come and read that to our guests. It's always a very, oh, wow. very wonderful and moving moment. So we're excited to have him. Another another uh, middle schooler, Jessica, uh, Lily Keys, will be uh, leading us in our Pledge of Allegiance. We always want to include students yes. in this because we don't, we want them to know. Mm -hmm. We want them to know what yeah. happened. So, yeah, we're excited about it. All right, Lynn, thank you for joining me this morning. I want to tell you how you can participate and join in on that 9-11 remembrance ceremony. It's going to be Monday at 9 a.m. around the Bossier City Municipal Complex. Again, it is free and open to the public. We're back in a moment.